fall looks pretty sick. Because this is Yoru. I think the only time I've ever seen a Yoru on Haven is when NRG did it. Based on how Paper X plays, I think we're gonna see a lot of like set strats in this VOD. Okay, we're watching it. Okay. Let's see. So the Yoru's on attack. This is such a weird double duelist comp. They're running the double duelist with Yoru raise. All right. Gate crash preemptively going out. So he has the timing right there. So he's like throwing it the second barriers actually. Hit zero. The gate crash is gonna go all the way. Ooh, he takes it. He just takes that shit and like hits it on the wall right there. That's clean as fuck actually. Holy shit. So he's just using it to get like really good long control. As far as trying to clear that out. So he's also flashing. As far watch, it, watch him, he's right here. He throws his gate crash and runs over here and he's gonna flash. As far as trying to clear, clear that out. Bro. Quite a ways away from a hunter's fury here from them. Oh, there it is. Wow, crazy f flash. Oh, maybe a paint shell's being lined up. Pushing through, Jeremy makes his exit with the blast packs. And then he TPs into it. Also, by the way, that was his teammate's cypher cage, by the way. That was not a defensive cypher cage. That's his teammate's cypher cage and his teammate Sova Dart at the corner. So the whole play is designed for him to potentially get a blind kill through the cage, get any entries, get space on long. That's an insane opener to take long A. Back away quite a bit. Dart going to be able to find one. Jesse Bash. It's a lot of people that have been like saying like paper X are just like not good anymore and they're trolling. I just feel like based on what I see when I watch them, I feel like that's not true. I feel like they make some mistakes and they're learning like the new meta, but they are willing to try a lot in these games right now that don't mean a lot. Okay, so he sends the clone into garage here in like the mid round. Groups back. The turret's shooting. If they would have smoked window, that would have been way better. I want him to see if he gets another kill so he can get his There we go. So he gets that kill and he immediately ults and throws his gate crash out behind. I don't know if this is like the best ult though. This isn't like a good ult for him, I don't think. I think this is like him overcooking it a bit. I don't like this ult. In this scenario, right? Here, so he's right now in technically a three on two because Jesse Vash is dead. I don't think he needed to ult right there. Like I think he's like overhooking it. Like what if he had this ult right now? The Yoru ult with the uh, Killjoy lockdown is actually like so sick. Need to defend this. Push coming in, they get one. Dubstep will get the other. And as Dubstep is the last one standing, Spike not flying. Oh. Okay. So instantly that clone lineup off spawn that's going to go in. They're going to bait it. I think this time they'll probably smoke window though. Even just yesterday, Hopefully. The yeah. The race, but so there's the window smoke. They also dart inside garage. They're also you come off the back teeping of the too. Happening. Even just yesterday, right? Granite was with a jet rather than yeah, so it's jiggle peeking long C. In the race, but you come off the back side of these timeouts, you have to kind of... He's just jump spotting the bottom to see if there's someone close. And then when he realizes he's far, he, he TPs to the other side. <laughs> what? Imagine you were opping right here. So he jump spots you. You see him. You can't hear this. He TPs over here. He then sends his gate crash out like right away. This guy's just being so sneaky. And that gate crash is definitely going to spawn, by the way. Oh, they broke it. Broke it or he, he faked it? I can't tell. He's also timing flashes right now. He just threw both of his flashes for these guys. He must have some kind of flash lineup back here. It's becoming more commonplace these days. Really, really strong. Really something to keep in mind for teams in the future, as well as for Paper X for the rest of this half. Oh my god, you're blocking. No way. Same early round setup. 
but I feel like we're gonna see this A fake to C with this spike right here. And everything about the setup that's different leads me to believe that's true. Here's what I think might happen here. Cypher cage, so is gonna drone off rip. What would he drone for Cypher though? He wants to get Cypher set up somewhere. Bot short. Let's see, this is interesting. How do they do this? Probably fake TP. So fake TP, drone out, boom bot short. Okay, Cypher's not going. What's the point of droning though? I guess because they want to save the dart for the C hit. That's why he droned. Ooh, spicy. So when you use the Yoru ult, you want to make sure that the item that you have out last, so like he just pulled out his shorty, that means when he comes out of the ult, he's going to have the shorty. That's what that's what he's doing, right? He's like double checking that it, like everything is it's like, all right, I'm not going to control myself here. So they fake their A default and now they're popping on C. They Yoru ult into garage. He sees the turret, he pings it. His TP is going back site. He pings the omen. He's pinging him again. This is a risky place to come out. He didn't really clear his back. He's blocking him. Wow. He's trying to block him in the site. And nope. out right Bro, that's actually insane. That's so annoying. That's so troll. Imagine that happening to you in your pro game. <laughs> Yoru's trying to keep him in the sight by blocking him. So that way, like, the dart pings him and, like, the Killjoy Nano Swarms hit him. That's so and funny. Nope. Out right here <laughs> in the smoke. Jeremy is there for the punish, however, but it's still damn flashy from Forsaken. And Kai finding another Jing as well, shutting down Dubstep and Garage. Like that strat is so hard to stop. That's why when people tell me all this nonsense about Paper X, I'm just like, bro, you're right. Like the team that plays against them, it, like the tournaments or the big matches they play, the first team that sees this, they're the teams that are gonna struggle. I think as the season progresses, they're gonna get better. Cause they set the tone with this A default before with like the cage, the dart, the Yoru TP, the person clearing short, the boom bot. And then when they fake it here, I mean, you want to rotate. You should rotate. Everything that everything about this game is telling you to rotate. And then the Yoru ult comes through garage and they have this crazy set play on C. And I mean, now you're in a terrible spot. You can see the Yoru TP is actually currently hugging the wall. It's going to go a little bit further, probably stop here. They have the Yoru opping, which I like. You can take this shot. If you get utiled off, you can TP out. Also has the ult with the shorty, so can have impact in the retake, even though he's opping. Their favorite maps. This is Deep Secret's map pick after all, and they are having their way with it. Look at now how they've decided to suss out information. Smoke comes down. Oof. Go for a straight shot. Play to get that ult. So they have reach ult. They have so many ults here. Are they going to send Jeremy into the C site with an, a fake ult? So you can see right there, he actually uses his second gate crash and they start to aggress because they need to push this for some info. He gets the kill. That's a really big kill. That's such a good play out of the Yoru. I like that. It's a pretty correct guess. We have for now one minute to work. They needed to take that ground in the mid round, and they did. That was a really good play by those two. They're not committing. And now he's holding this ang. And he gets another gate crash if he gets one more kill. So that's that's something to keep in mind. Omen clears out long. And since they have the cypher set up here, I would like to see the or rotate right now. Yeah, okay. The paranoia is money. Oh, wow, good protection right there. Envy now going to be taken down. Hunter's Fury fishing for a kill. Will get the behind the end. This is a really good round by Paper X. Oh, fucking own. Dude. I think the Yoru's been pretty impactful this game. Ooh, he leaves his TP over there for the A rotate, and he's pushing mid. I had to switch their minds. 
for Sinko with the Operator. Still the oh, oh, oh. Good shot. And yeah, Punched it. Explosive entry. Dead. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think they've made the Yori look pretty good this game. I think Secret's a really good Suddenly. opponent. He's got another neural death. And they know exactly where he is. Right, good luck, Envy. Can you find any kills? Ooh. Flash goes out, but it catches him from behind. Just a second too late. Another three to run it. Ooh. Dude, so he's already heaven. He started plat. He's heaven already. That's crazy, dude. Look at that Yoru value right here. Okay. So they have the double setup C, 2C right here. But he has the gate crash in heaven. Wow. Because of this, this omen ult, probably. He's probably scared of the omen ult and also wants to kill it if it goes off. So he has the gate crash over here, but he hears this heavy take coming on. So he pops the TP. Bro, that's great. What an insane play. No forsaken from heaven. Strikes him down, nullifying the ult completely. So he knows this guy's hell. In their hands. TP into hell. The push comes in. Ching oh finds the kill. He tries to study the amp, but he cannot. Dubstep swings around the opposite side. He manages to find the kill. He crash goes oh, out no. the fake. Not quite jumping out the window. He, he missed the clone. The fire comes through. Dude, Seeking no way. For egg on his face. That's kind of grief i'm not gonna lie he, why couldn't he have waited for the flash or something i thought they made the order look good chat